Right guys, a quick short video because I'm too excited. I'm currently working on a video and I came across something in, in the, on the news, social media, regarding something special, intriguing, my mind's blown. So as you know, I've been talking about rocks lately. I've been talking about the cave theory. Are we living in a huge cave? I've showed you the etymology and everything. It shows that we possibly could. But some of the questions I asked myself and you guys were asking, well, how do the oxygen, how are we breathing if we're in the cave? Is it sealed? Is uh, windows like and gates and portals like um, Enoch describes? So anyway, how is this possible? So in the video that I did, a few of them, I do go over, could it be other methods to create the oxygen? Also create light. And I'm like, Hmm, I have to keep working on this and like I said, I'm working on this video and this came across. So what you're seeing on screen now, a little pesky devil there, <laughs> it's called dark oxygen. It's a mineral, it's a metal and it was found at the bottom of the deep ocean. And obviously at the bottom of the deep ocean, light cannot hit, penetrate. So how was it creating oxygen? They found, they thought it was the, the machines were going broke. They had to be recalibrated four to five times. And I'm just so excited. So my brain, as soon as I saw this, is thinking, hmm, if we're living in a cave, we don't necessarily need light and photosynthesis to work like we, we were all taught. Could the rocks, the mountains, how many mountains are in this realm producing the oxygen that we need to breathe, not just from the photosynthesis. Your mind blown, my, mine is, I am so excited because I've been talking about, as I said, rocks lately. I've been talking about this cave theory and I'm working on a video and I came across it. I don't know how I did and it talks about dark oxygen. Now, mind blown, how can you not be mind blown by this? Rocks, minerals, metals at the bottom of the ocean producing H2O. Now they talk about in the article, so just Google dark oxygen, you'll see all the news is. I'll put a few clips on here from the magazines. I normally do a voiceover, but it's not working. <laughs> so I have to do this. So as you can see, it keeps saying about dark oxygen produced in the oceans. And they reckon it's a, electro, electrically produced. A bit like when you put a, like a battery, an AA battery, or whatever type of battery it is, into salt water. You can see it creating and splitting the atoms and creating hydrogen and different things. You saw it, I think we've all done the experiment once when you put a battery in and you can see it bubbling and fizzing. Do you reckon this rock, this mineral is doing this in the oceans? That's why life is able to survive deep down in the oceans. And you've got to think, if that's the case, could the mountains on land be doing something similar mind blown tell me it's not exciting that what we all perceive and what we're all being taught from school photosynthesis is the method for producing oxygen and i'm talking about different things and now this comes along saying dark oxygen now i, th I believe the company who paid for this um, these experiments and the metals company are like saying no, no 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 it's not what people think but it's blown up are they trying to hide this fact i don't know but i still have to be honest and tell you that they're saying you know what <laughs> what you do don't go too crazy guys this is a new theory a lot of people in science are blown away again science take it with a pinch of salt but me my brain how it works get excited i'm talking about we're in a cave cave system and again how is the oxygen produced could and this is the big could this be how it is produced they've called it dark oxygen and it's in the minerals the metals found on the seafloor in little rocks wow so here's me coming along talking about living in a cave <laughs> I've been looking like I'm crazy. I like the cave of treasures, you know, and other things that I've been talking about, about us being in a cave. My mind is blown, guys. Hopefully you can see my excitement and hopefully you can then go on and look at this. I, you know, this is early, so I'm going to continue looking at this. But it's a huge but. 
and <laughs> a huge what if. But this is how I work. So if I see something like this, I'm not going to tell the masses, you guys, that, hey, I've been talking about a cave and how is oxygen producing? Obviously, Enoch talks about gates and portals where the moon and different things come in and the winds. Where does this wind come from? But now the oxygen could be produced by this metal, this mineral found at the deep ocean. Hmm. So then I, I then think, hmm, mountains, could they be doing this? <laughs> Who knows? It's just been blown up and I'm excited. So that's why I've done this quick video, just basically bringing this to you guys so you can go and investigate yourself, see what you think. I'm gonna go and do that as well after this video to see what the validity or the idea behind this. Mine is blown. Dark oxygen. What else is there? What else just we do not know? That is the exciting, what inspires me. Just what else is out there? <laughs> Brilliant. So <laughs> you can see my enthusiast enthusiasm. So I want to appreciate, I appreciate all you guys. I really, really do. You keep me going. I'm going through a hard time, just like we all are but I keep coming back for you. So thank you for the love, the support. Please like, share and subscribe. And also if you can, you don't have to, you can help me in the channel by hitting that QR code there, which is buying me a bar, which is buying me a coffee. It all helps, I'm all humbled and you guys keep me going. So <laughs> let's keep going guys. And hey, what next? <laughs> what, can, what can come out next? Dark oxygen potentially creating oxygen on the seafloor? Is it around the world? Is it just in this one location? Wow. <laughs> Stay safe, always put a smile, and don't let the past tools grind us down. <laughs> Bye, guys.